We are converting between decimals and percents. My learning target is I can convert decimals into equivalent percents to show both are equal parts to the same whole. So if we have a decimal and we're converting it to percent, we are going to move the decimal point two places to the right. And this essentially means that we are multiplying by 100. So for example, if we have 0 0.25, move the decimal point to the right, it becomes 25%. If I were to multiply 0 0.25 times 100, that would also get a, give us 25, and then we would have that percent. If we're converting percents to a decimal, we would move the decimal point two places to the left. Essentially what we're doing is dividing by 100. So if we had 25%, we move the decimal point to the left twice, that's 0 0.25. Or if we did 25 divided by 100, we would still get 0 0.25. All right, number one, we are going to change 0 0.2, or sorry, 0 0.75 to a percent. We move our decimal point to the right twice, and that is 75%. Number two, we are going to move the decimal point to the right twice, and we get 135%. Number three, 0 0.35, move the decimal to the right twice, 35%. Number five, we're at 56% and we want to change it to decimal, so we move the decimal point to the left, so we get 0 0.56 or 0 0.56 hundredths. Number five, 20, 22% becomes 0 0.22 hundredths. Number six, we have 0 0.45 hundredths. We're going to move the decimal point to the right twice, and that becomes 45%. 78 percent, move the decimal point to the left twice, 0 0.78 hundredths. Number eight, eighty-four percent. Move the decimal point to the left twice, zero point eighty-four hundredths. Number nine, zero point ninety-seven. Move the decimal point to the right twice, ninety-seven percent. And then lastly, number 10, we have 37%. Move the decimal point to the left twice, and then we end up with 0 0.37 hundredths.